I'm Jeff Philbin and this is Dinner Diaz. Ideas for dinner with the best chefs showing you how to make them. Today, easy steamed fish with a cucumber salad and mango tapioca. Joining me to make this magnificent meal today is executive chef Wei Chen. He's got 20 years of experience, which he brings to the menu at Kozen, an omakase restaurant which is just one of six Tampa restaurants to make it into the 2024 Michelin Guide. So great to have you in the Dinner Diaz kitchen, my friend. Yes. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. For anyone who's not got that far with their Japanese Duolingo, Kozen translates to ray of light. An omakase restaurant is one where the chef selects the dishes being served each night. So what have you selected for us to have for today? Um, I'm going to do the cucumber salad first and uh, steamed fish and also the mango tapioca. Oh, I can't wait because before we get to the steamed fish, which is really the star to celebrate, we got to get the rice starter first. Now, how much rice do you have inside the chamber right now? 16 ounce. Okay. 16 ounce with no water. The ratio is no one and one. Okay. Water is one, rice one. Okay, so equal parts equal rice to parts water. Of, yes. Okay. But if you didn't have a rice cooker and you wanted to just boil it on the stovetop, you could. Yes, correct? We okay. Do. Still the same ratio, this one to one? Ratio. Yeah, one okay. to one. All right, so this is all set. We're just going to let this be for a little bit. And now we get to play with the cucumber salad here. Yes. So we're going to do the cucumber salad sauce. That's the cilantro and cucumber and um, serrano. Perfect. And we started a little bit to begin with, and now we're just going to bring all these flavors together. Yes. We've got these beautiful, beautiful cucumbers that are going, and these little baby cucumbers that just look ready to go. Look at the colors. And all that is, is just the serranos, the cucumber, cilantro, little soy sauce. And uh, vinegar. Vinegar, and just a pinch of salt. Pinch of salt, yes. That's it. That's it. Okay. What's next? Now we can do the, little bit of salt. Okay. Put it in the cutting bowl. Take two pieces of the cucumber, mm -hmm. rub it. And what's the purpose of salting the cutting board and then rolling it out? With the cucumber? It's more um, taste. Okay. Yeah. So we're just trying to get a little bit of salt to permeate inside. Inside the cucumber. Okay. Yes. So we're just trying to flavor and season it a little yes. bit. Okay. A little bit. See, that's a tip that most people wouldn't be doing with the cucumbers. Oh, that's true. Very easy. So cut it in the straight. Look at that, okay. So all we just did was we just took off the ends, cut it in half, then cut those now into a quarters. Yes. And now comes the fun part. Now we're just chopping it now. Beautiful. Chef Chen's recipes for everything he's making today, this salad plus the steamed fish and his mango tapioca dessert are all on our website, dinnerdias.com. We have the ingredients, the amounts, and the directions all ready to print just for you. Just get your phone out, open up the camera app like you're about to take a photo of the two of us, point it at our QR code down there in the corner of your screen, and a link will pop right up. Look at that, that is absolutely beautiful piece of work. Now we get some the sauce. Look at that. Yes. A couple of dry the sesame oil. A little sesame oil, okay. Yes. And finish with the micro cilantro. Oh, that's beautiful. So we're done. All right, so now it sounds like we can almost get to the dessert piece so we can start that process going because we're going to be making a mango tapioca. Yes. So we got to start with the tapioca here. So the water is boiling. Okay. Um, Tapioca is ready mm -hmm. to put it in the hot water. And that's going straight into boiling water. How long will that take to it's cook? It's going to take uh, four minutes. Okay. Keep boiling. All right. While the tapioca cooks, we're taking a break. And when we come back, we learn from a master about how to steam the perfect fish ahead on Dinner Diaz.
Welcome back to Dinner Diaz. Today we're joined by Chef Wei Chen. He's the executive chef at Tampa's Cozen Restaurant, where he combines innovation and tradition and serves a menu of over 20 courses. And today we're cutting it down to just three, but three absolutely beautiful dishes. An easy steamed fish that we'll be making in just a moment, plus a cucumber salad, which we assembled before the break. Blending cucumber, serrano pepper, cilantro, rice vinegar, soy sauce, and just a little pinch of salt and using it to dress sliced cucumber that we seasoned by rolling in salt for just a little bit more flavor behind it. And we're in the middle of making this tapioca here, this mango tapioca, and have our tapioca just simmered away here. Is it ready? Yes, it's ready. So what do we need to so do? So we're gonna drain out the tapioca. And how do we know that it's ready? What are we looking for? Look at the color, it's gonna be a clear color. Okay. Yes. So we started really white, and so now it's just that translucent color Trans here. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Oh. So we just drain the tapioca. Drain the tapioca. Okay. And put it in the ice cold water. And we just put it into an ice cold bath here. And yeah. is this just to stop the cooking process? Yes. Okay. So to leave it. And we could just let that rest in the cold water? Just let it leave it in the cold water. Okay. Yeah, bring it down. So we're gonna do the mango. Okay. Now, you've got absolutely beautiful knives, and I wanna see you kinda use it here, because we've got the Chef Jeff cam. What's the trick here? Because you're already starting to work around. So you're peeling the skin using the knife. Yeah. That's the life skills. And this is gonna come off in one piece, right? Is it? Look at that. And you could do this for any type of fruit or vegetable that you're just wanting to peel off. I can peel off the um, apple, pear, yeah, and even the orange. But the trick is having a good knife, it sounds like. <laughs> good hands. Good hands, too. <laughs> so good hands, good knife. All right. How often, let me ask you this. Yes. How often are you sharpening your blades? How often um, is it? Is it nightly for every service that you're getting ready for it? For this this kind of life, I can shop um, almost every service. Every service? Yes. Wow. Where's your knife from? That's from Japan. Okay. Yes. Oh, it looks beautiful. a little bit. And so we're just making nice little matchsticks, it looks like. How much, how thin do we really want this to go? And what's next? Oh, now we're giving. Now, we're turning around. We're okay. doing a broom wall cut now. Okay. Yeah. That's for nail, for garlic. Okay. Put in there. So we're going to do mango puree. Okay, so just a rough chop then for this. Yes. But we already got everything ready for the garnish for later. For later, yeah. Okay. That's for... Mango puree. Oh, just a nice little small dice there. Rough chop here. Whoa, all right. And that was just mango that you already just, had cut before? Yeah, I had it okay. cut before. So that's in the whole milk. Whole milk? And the coconut milk. And coconut milk, okay. So you got a recipe, right? Nice. <laughs> and a little bit of coconut milk oil. Okay. Just make a puree. So that's mango. Um, Gonna add a little bit of sugar or a little bit of condensed milk. Okay. To, to adjust. Okay. So just a little bit of some sugar and some condensed milk here. Yes. Now the condensed milk is that to help thicken it a little bit as well? Thicken it a little bit, and um, sweeter. And a little bit more sweetness behind yes. it as well. Yes. Okay.
Okay. Dead tapioca is ready. Can I get that skin? Mm-hmm. A dessert in the glass. It's a very fancy night over here, my friend. What a work of art here. Cabotrata mango, fresh mango. Mm -hmm. Easy and simple. Look at how beautiful that looks already. That's for you. How is it? Absolutely lovely. It's smooth, has the creaminess, yeah. has the subtle touches of what you had with the coconut, uh -huh. but the mango shines throughout. Yes. Absolutely beautiful. And so, we're gonna do the now, steamed fish. Now, what's next? The steamed fish here? Yes. Okay. That fish, you already uh, removed. And we've got whole fish. What type whole of fish, fish do we have here? That's a uh, red snapper. Red snapper. Yes, that's a red snapper. We already removed. Now, you uh, caught this yourself earlier today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we already removed. But an the, easy fish to find? Yeah, you can go any Asian supermarket. OK. Yeah, that's one very easy. And OK. Yep, we already removed the scale mm -hmm. and the guts also. OK. So that's the uh, super fresh. Um, Chop, I'm gonna chop the head off. And this off. needs to be fresh. This is a no cutting the corn. No. You have to have fresh fish. No frozen here. No frozen. Okay. Yes. So we chop the head off. And we're just gonna chop the head off. How much would this serve? How many people? That can, oh, for me it's a whole four, five people. Okay. Yes. And cut. And so we've got the, the fish head. Now you can use that and use that for a beautiful stock, right? We can do the for soup. Beautiful. Yes. Okay, so we got the head off. And then a little bit slight from the back. Mm -hmm. Because of that, that's very thick. Yeah. So we, we, we need to um, cut it a little bit. Let okay. the air go, uh, steam go through very mm -hmm. fast. Two slides. For Chef Chen's recipe for this steamed fish that we're about to cook, head over to our website, dinnerdias.com. Just scan the QR code in the corner of your screen. Okay, so you've got these beautiful slits. What are you gonna put inside it then? Just ginger. Okay. Two sliced ginger and scallion. Already got garlic. The water is ready. Now most people at home are thinking, hey, if I'm gonna make fish, I'm going to, you know, pan sear it. I'm going to grill it possibly. I'm going to put it into the oven. No, 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 no. We're steaming it. Yes. But you put, uh, what, just a nice little bit of a... Uh, 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 water? Yeah. Yeah, that's water and a little bit of... Um, yeah, that's just water. Okay. But then you had a little bit of a base to go above, and yes. then you put the plate right over that base. Yes. And the purpose for that is so that way then it doesn't create any of the water. Water inside. So you're separating water from the actual surface area. Yes. Okay. You just need the steam to create a whole fish through cover. And the ginger and everything, just right on top of the skin. Yes. That's it. That's it. Very simple, easy. You can make it home. And then we're just going to so let that lift lid be on for eight minutes. For eight minutes? All right. Well, our fish starts to steam here. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, how to finish it all up and make a sauce to serve it with. Ahead on Dinner Diaz. Welcome back to Dinner Diaz. Today we're making real show-stopping dinner here. A whole steamed fish thanks to Chef Wei Chen from Tampa's Kozen Restaurant. Before the break, we finished up our mango tapioca dessert, blending mango, coconut milk, coconut oil, condensed milk, and serving that over the tapioca which we simmered earlier. Then we started our steamed fish and it was way easier than it really sounds because we prepped it up by slicing into the flesh to keep it to cook quicker, and then simply adding garlic, ginger, and scallions. And as we've seen, you don't need a big fancy steam to cook fish like this. We've got tried and true, a Dutch oven, part filled with water and put the fish on a plate, propped up so that the water wasn't touching. You think it's ready? Yeah, it's ready. All right, moment of truth. Oh. 
Wow. Now there's a little bit of water here on the plate. We went in dry. Is that going to be a problem or anything? It's, yeah, that's come from full fish. It's okay. So that's just the moisture that's cooking out from the fish? Yes. Okay. With um, trash the garlic ginger. Okay, so we don't need any of that. We can throw all, all, all of that away. Garlic ginger, yes. Okay. Remove to the bigger plate. Absolutely quick. That was what, eight minutes that we steamed that for? Eight minutes. So get on the sauce we just made. And that's just a little bit of soy sauce? Soy and dasi. And, and what is that then? Dasi, that's mean I made from a fish. Okay. Like a fish broth. Where would you find that? The fish, uh, we can get uh, from Asian store. Okay. That's not dry fish. Okay. So you can find that at the, the local Asian market? Yes. Okay. That's not... Stress. And what's that going on there? Julian um, scallion. Okay, so just a little bit of Julian scallions. And, and what's that? That's the red pepper. And that's just red pepper. Yes. Beautiful. So we got a hot oil. And then we've got hot oil. Now we didn't cook with this. This is just now being ladled slowly over it. To make this for your dinner and be like Chef Chen, all you need is a fish. A few easy ingredients and the recipe from today's show, which is waiting for you at our website, dinnerdias.com. Just scan the QR code in the corner of your screen to get there. All right, so the fish is done. Everything looks amazing. It's a work of art. And what about the rice, the rice. from earlier? So we go get the rice. And the trick to using the rice cooker is let it be. Don't touch it. Don't, don't touch finagle it. with it, it yes. sounds like. And it's finished, finished. And it, that's it. Just let it be and yep. to come back to it. All right. I like that idea. I mean, even better for it. Don't forget, if you make this for your dinner, send us a photo. I mean, this is an absolute showstopper. Get some photos of this one here when you're making it. And you can message and follow us on Facebook. We're at Dinner Diaz, which is where Dolores found us. She's watching in Brandon and sent us a picture of the smash burger she made after seeing Chef James Renew's recipe. He joined us from the Little Lamb Gastro Pub and also runs Estuary in Newport Ritchie. Dolores said the burger was a hit and said, thanks for all the wonderful ideas. So inspiring. Dolores, thank you for making it and thank you for watching. And when we come back, we're taste testing another dinner that you'll want to make and share on your social. This easy steam fish ahead on Dinner Diaz. Welcome back to Dinner Diaz. Today, we've been making an easy steam fish so easy, we had it prepped, cooked, and on the plate in about 10 minutes. It's all thanks to our very special guest. Wei Chen is the executive chef at Kozen, an omakase restaurant, which basically means you're in the chef's capable hands and they decide what you're having for dinner. Chef Chen's menu was for us, not only the fish, but because it was so quick to cook everything, we also had some time for a beautiful cucumber salad and a dessert of mango tapioca. Chef Chen. Where do we start? So we're going to start with cucumber salad. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Yes. Okay. And that was just the cucumber. That's a, just a cucumber with no cucumber, cucumber sauce. Mm -hmm. And the cucumber sauce had a little bit of soy sauce, a little yeah. bit of rice vinegar. Yes. And that's cilantro. Mm. It'll be a spicy, crunchy. Mm-hmm. But balanced. Yes. But balanced. And it's opening up the palate because it's just so fresh and bright. Right. All right. Yeah. What's next? You're gonna do the, the fish. Okay. Now, if you just tune in, you want to go back and watch this part. You can watch it online and be able to see everything come together because so simple, so easy. You have everything in the house to already make everything. Uh -huh. Okay, a little bit of sauce. And a little bit of this is gonna go so much of a long way. Folks, you really wanna, if you had, just tune in. Oh wow.
That might be one of the best red snappers I've ever had in my life. Thank you. And uh, go with the rice. I think I might want to go back even more for that. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. That is so good. You're gonna try some. I mean, come on. Like, Absolutely. That was a whole fish. You know, so many people get turned off by the idea of whole fish, but it's cost effective and economical. Mm -hmm. You have everything. I mean, we literally could make this in the house. We used a Dutch oven to steam the fish. That's, um, we just need hot water to steam it. That's it. Yeah, easier. What do you think of the fish? So so. So so. <laughs> so so. Man, this was absolutely out of this world fantastic. Thanks again to Chef Chen. A link to Kozen is at dinnerdias.com, along with all the recipes from today's show, with all the ingredients, all the amounts, and all of the directions ready and waiting for you to print. Just scan the QR code to find us. I'm Jeff Philbin. Thanks for watching, and see you next time for more Dinner Diaz. Mm. Thank you. Thank you.